Hey guys, it's me Morby and I'm back again with another achievement guide. This time I'm going to be showing you Fractured Minds. This is a super fast game that's mostly a walking simulator but it does have a few simple puzzles along the way. Uh, the main theme of this game, it uh, goes through various symptoms of anxiety and depression and it gives the audience like a little glimpse of what it's actually like to deal with these issues. This game is super cheap to pick up and it's also worth noting that some of the proceeds do go to the charity Safe In Our World so I would really recommend grabbing this one. There is only one missable achievement, but there is a level select, so if you do miss it, you can go back, but if you're watching this guide, you should be able to get everything in one run. Right, without further ado guys, let's jump into Fractured Minds. Okay, so the first chapter is called The Mundane. Uh, we're going to wake up and find ourselves in this bedroom. If you look over to the right, you're going to see the controls on the wall. Uh, they're super easy controls, so once you're familiarised with them, uh, walk over to the door and you'll see that it's locked. So what we're going to need to do is find the key. Start searching the drawers, the cupboards, anything you see in the room, and you'll start seeing various keys around the room. Start picking these up and you'll get the prompt that it's the wrong key. We're going to need seven keys before we find the correct one. Once you have enough keys, the room's going to get all spooky for a minute. Don't worry about that, that just means you've picked up enough keys. Once the room's gone back to normal, make your way over to this artwork here and remove it from the wall. This will reveal the correct key. Pick it up, walk it over to the door, and we've completed chapter one. Okay, so the next chapter is called Emptiness. For this chapter, we're going to have to pin the tail on the donkey. Yep, you heard me right. Make your way over to the pile of presents on the table and open the purple one. You'll find a tail inside and instantly equip it. Once you've got that, walk to your right and you'll see a piñata hanging from the ceiling. Shake it and you'll reveal the pin. Go back to the table and open up the red present revealing the blindfold. This will automatically equip to you and you'll see a black bar across your screen. What we're going to do now is walk over to the donkey that's on the wall and pin it to its butt. Uh, try your best, but to be honest, I'm pretty sure there isn't a way to fail this part of the game, so just keep clicking and eventually it will stick to the back of the donkey. Once the tail is attached, go back to the table. By doing this, we'll find the key and we can get out of this room. Walk over to the door in the right-hand corner and proceed to the next chapter. Before we get to the next chapter, we have to walk through this corridor. This doesn't necessarily class as a level, it's just more of a transition between chapters. Sprint through this corridor and we'll get straight up to chapter 3, which is called Comfort Zone. This chapter is super quick. All we have to do is go up to the armchair to our right and pick up the magnifying glass on the arm. Take this over to the snow globe, look into it and we'll be transported inside. Walk up to the building that you teleport in front of and go inside. It will be a replica of the room that we was just in. This time on the armchair you will find a key. Pick it up and walk back out the building the way you came. You will now see a door at the end of the snowy path. Go up to it and that's that chapter complete. The next chapter, Paranoia, is the chapter with a missable achievement inside, but we'll get to that in a minute. When the level loads up, you will see lots of people walking down the street looking down at their phones. For the time being, ignore them and cross the street. Please watch out for the cars though, because if they hit you, they will make you go back right to the beginning of the level. And if you've done some of this and then get hit, you're going to have to do it all over again. So really watch out for them cars. Once you've crossed the road, find this whiteboard on the wall. It will have four shapes on it that you'll have to find in order on the backs of the people walking down the streets. This may take a little bit of time as I think it's randomly generated. But once you have all four, the door will unlock and we are ready to proceed to the next level. But please, hold your horses. As I said, this chapter has a missable achievement in it. What we're going to need to do is position ourselves so we can see both paths on either side of the road. Now, it's a waiting game. After a few minutes of waiting, you will see a figure that is twice the size of the others walking down the street. Walk up to it and you'll see that it's the ghostly figure that keeps popping up throughout the chapters. Get close enough to him and the achievement will pop. After that, we are now ready to move on.
Before getting to chapter 5, we have to deal with another corridor transition. Simply get to the end of the door and you're greeted with chapter 5. The first thing we see is a front room with a red light tracking the floor. For the first achievement on the chapter, we want to get caught three times by the red light. Simply walk into the red light and be caught. This will make the level restart and you can do it over and over again until the achievement pops. Once the achievement, fine, don't listen to me pops, we can move on and finish chapter five. Okay, once we have respawned for the third time walking into the red lights, we are now going to complete the level. What we're going to do is avoid the red light and go over to the TV and open the middle drawer underneath the TV. We're going to find a battery. Pick this up and then turn 180 and you'll see the kitchen. Avoid the other red light on the floor and go to the middle cupboard and you'll find the other battery. Next, we're going to walk back over to the TV and to the left on the table, we're going to find a remote control. Put the batteries inside and the TV channel will change to a cryptic message. As you can see on the message, there is a code highlighted. Walk over to the door to the right and enter the code 0834 and the door will open. Once you enter this code, you will trigger a cutscene and the ghostly apparition will appear again and unplug the room, draining it of all the water and dragging you down the plug hole. Now we're on the last chapter, Monster. We are greeted with a red room and the sound of a heartbeat. Walk down the corridor until you're in a boiler room. Make your way to the massive beating heart in front of you, then when you get the gibberish message come underneath your screen, turn around. You're going to see the monster standing inside the boiler room, but this time we're going to fight him. You will see four valves scattered around the room. All you need to do is spin the correct valve to damage him. So he's going to stand in one of four corners, and the valve underneath that corner is the one that will damage him. Do this four times and you've beaten him. Make your way back into the heart room and watch a very interesting end cutscene. And just like that, we have 100 percented Fractured Minds. So that was Fractured Minds. Although it's a very short and graphically is quite crude, I actually really enjoy playing this game. It's nice to see someone express their feelings on like depression and anxiety and to be able to visualize them within a game. Some viewers may connect with what went on within the chapters. I'd really recommend you guys check this one out, even if it's just for the game of score. It's a nice little game and if you have 20 minutes to kill, this is the one to grab. But anyway guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching my first quarantine video. I hope you guys are coping okay, getting that much needed game time in. I'm gonna try and crank out a lot more guides and walkthrough videos for you guys to keep you entertained during this time. But anyway guys, I've been Morvi, this has been Fractured Minds, and I'll see you later. Peace.